guys, this is Tarot with Kitten Sweets and Tarot, and today I'm jumping in on the tag that is storming YouTube, hashtag 100 questions nobody asks by our girl Willow Wind the Thrifty Witch. So there are a lot of questions. Uh, they're not really like tarot related, but it is, I think, really interesting, um, you know, to just get to know us, uh, get to know each other in a really fun way, um, kind of outside of our our tarot witchy woo woo practices uh, so I was looking at the questions they're totally awesome um, I watched Willow Wynn's uh, videos it was a two-parter because you know there's a hundred questions <laughs> but also I've been watching you know my fave homies uh, do their responses to this and so I was like okay okay I'm doing this so I decided to be in my bedroom because this is where my computer's at and since there's a hundred questions like it's a hundred questions. <laughs> so I needed to have my laptop up and open so that I could reference the questions and answer them. All right, so let's jump on in it and let's have some fun. Question number one, do I sleep with my closet doors open or closed? Uh, we have one walk-in closet off to my left here uh, in our master bedroom. Um, and that is my boyfriend's closet. My closet is actually in the creativity room and I also have a walk-in closet. It does stay open just because like I guess if he needs to need something from the closet he just like goes in and out uh, plus we have our ohms which you guys can probably hear in the background uh, playing 24 7 in our closet um, we have a portal and all that good stuff plus it's a really messy closet uh, so stuff's always like bursting out of there <laughs> not just spirits but clothes uh, <laughs> so yeah closet door stays open number two do I take the shampoo and conditioner bottles from hotels Yes, they're complimentary. So I complimentarily put them in my purse. <laughs> then they become travel bottles. Number three, do I sleep with my sheets tucked in or out? Um, I used to always sleep with my sheets tucked in, but because my boyfriend has a refusal to sleep with the sheets tucked in, like every time I make the bed and I tuck the sheets in, he will literally rip all the blanket sheets and covers off the bed and then lay them back on so that he can lay in a bundled mess. So I make the bed, I just don't tuck anything in now. Number four, have I stolen a street sign before? No, never really had an inkling to. Five, do I like post-it notes? Yes, I have a lot of them at school. They're kind of all posted around my school laptop and my desk and they mostly just have like um, usernames and passwords because we have so many sites that we have to use as teachers. Number six, do I ever cut out coupons and then never use them? Um, I get coupons sometimes in the mail. Like sometimes like I'll get something from Victoria's Secret where it's like one free pair of knickers and you like don't really, like there's no purchase. I'll save that one and I'll use it. But I'm not really like a coupon cutter person. Um, but yeah, if there's something that comes in the mail and there's no real obligation on my part, <laughs> You know, and it's something I use all the time or I really like, then I'll use a coupon. Number seven, would I rather be attacked by a bear or a swarm of bees? I would be uh, rather be attacked by a swarm of bees because I'm not allergic to bees and I run pretty fast and I think I can outrun a swarm or I'll just like maybe jump in the ocean I guess and wait them out <laughs> uh, a bear I know that when a bear attacks um, most of the time a bear will eat you from the feet up so you're mostly in agonizing pain the whole time while you're dying and bleeding to death um, but yeah it usually for the most part bears like to start at the feet or the butt that's so weird <laughs> Number eight, do I have freckles? Um, yes, but only here, like on my nose and on tops of my cheeks. Otherwise, I just have like a couple of moles here and there. Um, but yeah, and I think that's just because, um, you know, of how mixed I am, I wound up with these like really weird freckles. So if you guys can see, I have little freckles here, little freckles here, and little freckles on top of my nose. And my mom used to say that's why the sun kisses me. <laughs> Number nine, do I always smile for pictures? Of course. 10 biggest pet peeve people who don't follow the rules i'm not talking about like you know be a rule breaker but i'm talking about like literal law like people who 
run red lights. Uh, they'll be at a light and decide they've waited at the light long enough and just decide they're gonna run it. Or uh, people that um, like cut you off and nearly cause an accident. Uh, basically really bad drivers. Like when it comes to like being law abiding, um, in I guess in any form, like you know, and people just decide that they're I don't know, just gonna break the law or be really rude and um, have no care for anybody else except themselves. Like really selfish, self-centered people really get on my nerves. <laughs> 11, do I ever count my steps when I walk? No, but I like to check my activity tracker on my Apple Watch and, um, what up Mickey? And Mickey will usually show me like where I am like calories wise and steps wise so I don't know I guess I check it out but I really don't count my steps. Number 12 have I ever peed in the woods? Yes I used to go camping with my grandma and grandpa. <laughs> Number 13 have I ever pooed in the woods? Yes again sometimes you're in the middle of nowhere with my grandparents and you have to dig a hole and you poo. <laughs> Number 14, do you ever dance when there's no music playing? Yes, well, okay, there's no physical music playing, but there's always music playing inside my head. <laughs> Number 15, do I chew my pens or pencils? No, I'm not a orally fixated type of person. Number 16, how many people have I slept with this week? Uh, like physically have been inside the bed with me? That would be my dude and my puma. Like, wink, wink, slept together uh just my dude number 17 what size is my bed this bed is a queen size number 18 what's my song of the week well um <clears throat> i guess when i was working out in the gym today the song that like i was like really kind of cranking to um was a slave you know, I'm a slave for you by Britney Spears. So that's actually playing in my head right now. <laughs> Number 19, is it okay for guys to wear pink? Yeah, why would you exclude somebody from a color on the spectrum? Anybody could wear any color. It's, it like doesn't flatter your skin tone. <laughs> Number 20, do I still watch cartoons? Of course, like I, I like to go back and like watch some of my old cartoons. In fact, I have the box set for like all the episodes of Shira. So if you guys ever want to come over for a Shira party, like my house. Number 21 of my least favorite movie is actually Goodwill Hunting. Um, you know, the one with Robin Williams and Matt Damon. And here's why. <sighs> Matt Damon was such like his character was such an ass. <laughs> like in that movie um and then you know his girl mini driver you know her character she was just so sweet and so supportive and there's just that part in the movie where like he was just so mean to her and that that just that scene just infuriated me where he was just so mean and he made her cry and he totally like broke her heart um and then i know that he like i guess somewhat straightens out in the movie and he's like like kind of sorry and like you know he's uh, you know learns his lessons and at the very end he says I have to go see about a girl but I'm like dude you were such a jerk to her like mm -mm, mm -mm, I'm all mm -mm, mm -mm. that hurt my feelings like a lot <laughs> number 22 where would I bury hidden treasure if I had some where would I hide my treasure wouldn't you like to know it's gonna be where it's at Number 23, what do I drink with dinner? Water. Number 24, what do I dip a chicken nugget in? I don't eat chicken nuggets. Number 25, what is my favorite food? Spenakopita. It's a Greek spinach pie and it is my favorite. Number 26, what movie or movies could I watch over and over again and still love? Um, okay, I could these are from my childhood and I literally did watch them over and over until the VH, test, uh, VH tapes broke um, but I could still watch Ghostbusters 1 and 2 over and over until the cassette tapes break or the DVDs or the Blu-rays or the whatever on demands break. <laughs> I could literally still watch um, all the Indiana Jones like all of them. <laughs> um, maybe not that last one. We'll just pretend that that most recent one 
didn't happen. But other than that, the other Indiana Jones, <laughs> um, you know, Temple of Doom, Last Crusade, uh, Lost Ark, um, I could literally just watch those forever till the end of time. Number 27, what was the, who was the last person I kissed and kissed me? My dude, or possibly my puma. Number 28, was I ever a Girl Scout? No, I wanted to be, but my mom's like, I was a Girl Scout, so why do you need to be a Girl Scout? She's like, I already did that. I'm like, that's kind of how my family was. It's like my mom and dad had both already gone to Hawaii, so they were like, well, we already went to Hawaii. Why would you, why would we need to take you to Hawaii? <laughs> Number 29, would I ever strip or pose nude in a magazine? Yeah, I mean, okay, give me like a month to get shredded and then yes. <laughs> I have, like, I have been nude in photographs before, just like not in a magazine. Like back in college when I was dating a dude, we had fun with a Polaroid camera and we took some naked pictures together. And then once we broke up, we like watched each other like burn the Polaroids and then we we're like, okay, we're good. <laughs> Number 30, when was the last time I wrote a letter to someone on paper? Well, whenever I sell anything in my Etsy shop or I, I do a, a trade, um, you know, for like a deck or a book or something like that, I always leave a little note. Um, but actually, probably a couple of months ago, I just decided spur of the moment that I would do a little snail mail letter, kind of how I used to uh, back in uh, college and high school. And I did that to a couple of my besties. Number 31, can I change the oil in a car? I probably could, because I've watched my boyfriend do it like a million times. Uh, I just have never changed the oil myself. Number 32, ever gotten a speeding ticket? <gasps> no. Number 33, ever ran out of gas? No, I'm pretty cautious that way. <laughs> Number 34, my favorite kind of sandwich? Avocado sandwich, avocado on sourdough, a little bit of sea salt, and that's about it. Number 35, the best thing to eat for breakfast? Um, I can have this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but um, my boyfriend calls it his white trash eggs Benny. <laughs> it's basically a sourdough English muffin. Um, and then you have your, your fried egg on top. Uh, then you have your slice of uh, Kirkland cheese on top of that. Um, and then a little bit of paprika on top of that. Oh, and a slice of, um, a little slice of Canadian bacon inside. That is so good. <laughs> Number 36, what is my usual bedtime? Um, I start getting ready for bed around 10 and I try to get in by 10.30, 11 is kind of pushing it. Number 37, am I lazy? See, I don't know because in my brain, I think that I'm like a lazy waste of space, but um, I'm constantly like moving and doing stuff because I think of a little like, maybe I have ADHD, but <laughs> I'm always like, like I see something and it annoys me. So I'm always like picking up and like straightening or fixing, or I want to go do this right now. And I think I should work on this right now. And you know, so um, I always think I'm laying around, but I think that I don't end up laying around for that long. <laughs> Number 38, when I was a kid, would I dress, what did I dress up as for Halloween? Um, my favorite thing, I was always a vampire, like a lot. And when I was older, when I wasn't a vampire, I was Data from Star Trek. So either I was Lieutenant Commander Data or vampire. Number 39, what is my Chinese astrological sign? I'm a cock. <laughs> Rooster. Number 40, how many languages do I speak? Well, my native language is English, American English. Um, I used to be pretty fluent in American Sign Language uh, when I was a kid. Now I'm just basically down to a few signs and spelling everything out. Um, I, if you give me like a few days to like just hang out in Mexico, my Spanish will come back to me. Um, but I'm pretty good at understanding what everybody's saying in Spanish. I can read and write in Spanish. Um, but when it comes to speaking, it's harder to get the words to come to me unless I'm immersed. So like get me immersed for like three days and it'll all come back. Um, same thing with Italian. Um, like just immerse me for like 
a few days to like a week and all my Italian will come back to me. Um, and same thing with German. So it's just that I haven't spoken like German and Italian like on a regular basis for a while. Um, but you know, just put me back in for like a week, <laughs> you know, surrounded by everybody that speaks German or Italian and psh, I got it. Um, but I would say like, obviously my dominant language is English, uh, followed by Spanish, followed by, um, probably Italian and German together. And then, you know, you got your American sign language. Um, also, <laughs> um, I used to be pretty good, like very like, like holding elementary school type conversations, like kind of jittery conversations or jolty, um, with, um, Syrian Arabic. Um, and that's just because, uh, there was a school I taught for like six years where I was surrounded by Arabic, like 24 seven and the kids would rarely speak English. And so I think while I was teaching them English, I learned more Arabic than they did English. <laughs> and so for a while I could understand everything the kids were saying. Um, and I could at least get small sentences out to them if I wanted to. Number 41, do I have any magazine subscriptions? Yes, but I'm letting them run out. I think I just let my oxygen magazine run out. I think I'm out of that one. Um, I still get a uh, woman's day and family circle, but that one's kind of, those are finally running out because I don't really have time to read them anymore. Um, but I do buy magazine subscriptions for my boyfriend cause he likes all his car magazines. Like he gets like motor trend and auto week and automobile and yeah. So I buy him subscriptions. 42, which are better, Legos or Lincoln Logs? Um, Legos were fun. Lincoln Logs, I like the smell a lot better. So I don't know, I think I had more fun with Lincoln Logs. Number 43, am I stubborn? Yes. <laughs> Number 44, who is better, Leno or Letterman? I choose Leno. Um, I don't know, I, it was hard for me to ever stay up that late. <laughs> you know, especially when I was younger, I wasn't really supposed to be up that late, but I don't know, I kind of liked Leno. Plus I love Jay Leno's garage. Like he is a huge like like car buff. So he has like this massive warehouse full of these really like old cars. Some of them are one of a kind. And um, I don't know, it's very historical and my boyfriend likes watching Jay Leno's garage and um, I like seeing that side of Jay Leno. Like he's a pretty cool cat. Number 45, have I ever watched soap operas? <laughs> um, I don't now, but when I was a kid, like I'm talking like kindergarten, first grade, um, after school, I used to stay at my my Nana, and which is my grandmother, my, my Nana's apartment and um, my, my cousin and my aunt you know, live there too. And, uh, my Nana would always be watching the young and the restless general hospital days of our lives. Um, you know, um, dark shadows. So I was always watching those <laughs> and my mom would get so upset with my Nana because she'd be like, Tara was upset again because so-and-so died and then he cheated on so-and-so. And, and I'd be like, Oh my God. And I'm like five years old. Um, and then there was uh, a soap opera. It was a Mexican soap opera. Um, I think when I was like a senior in high school and it was, it was on late at night, but my mother and I would stay up for it because it was so cheesy that it was funny. And we literally watched it to laugh. <laughs> Number 46. Am I afraid of heights? Yes. Um, I think Simon talked about this, uh, that he has the urge to jump. And I always have that fear that I'm going to jump. Um, you know, where it's like, I don't want to just fall. I'll just, do it myself. You know, of course I'm not really going to jump, but yeah, I have the fear of heights. I have the fear of I'm going to fall or I'm going to spontaneously jump. Number 47, do I sing in the car? Uh, of course. And especially if I'm going off to like an opera gig or like rehearsals, I do my warm ups in, in the car. Number 48, do I sing in the shower? Yes. Much to Wally's chagrin. <laughs> Poor gigantic ears. <laughs> 49. Do I dance in the car? Yes. And if I'm at a stoplight and there's nobody in front of me and no, nobody behind me, I do like to play with the brake and make the car bounce. <laughs> 
Number 50, have I ever used a gun? Yes, and I have since I was about six years old. Um, I started off with a BB gun um, at my grandma and grandpa's property. Of course, my parents never allowed guns in the house, uh, most because, um, well, my on my dad's side, his sister had committed suicide uh, with his gun when he had returned from the army so my dad had a strict like no gun policy in the house um, but at my grandparents house they had guns everywhere <laughs> and so uh, and I would spend my whole summer there so I used to um, like target practice with my grandparents beer cans which uh, there were many and I would uh, like shoot their empty beer cans for target practice but mostly like me and the dog would walk the property and my job was to shoot things like snakes that would um, attack their chickens or their rabbits you know because that's they had like a huge farm so I'm like trying to protect the farm um, when I got older probably like eight um, I was allowed to use the sawed-off shotgun that was by the front door um, and I got pretty good with a shotgun so I am like now when we go clay shooting um, I can let the clay disc go to where it's almost out of range and you can barely almost see it and I can hit it. <laughs> so I'm pretty accurate with a shotgun. However, um, I have used a Glock before at a shooting range and I think the safest place is in front of the gun. I don't really know where the bullets go. We tried looking, I, I emptied a whole clip. None of it hit the target, don't know where they went. <laughs> Number 51, last time I got my portrait taken by a photographer. Um, the beginning of every school year, which is in August, every teacher has to get their picture taken by, you know, the school's photographer so that we can get our IDs and our stuff made. Um, but since I'm a professional photographer, I sometimes take my own portrait. <laughs> Number 52, do I think musicals are cheesy? See, I don't mind singing, I guess, musical arias, like arias from musicals. Uh, I prefer opera, <laughs> but uh, I find it hard to sit through a musical. And usually if they ever came on on TV, I was like, what the hell? Why are they singing about putting on clothes? Like, when you put your leg in the pant and you put your other leg on the ground. I'm like, what? Just say it. Number 53, is Christmas stressful? No, I quite enjoy Christmas. I get excited about Christmas. I love buying gifts. I have, I like the whole, um, I set aside time when I get to like wrap all the gifts. I put on my Santa hat. I play uh, Mariah Carey's like Christmas CD um, from the 90s. That's like the iconic one. And I'll listen to like the chipmunks and I listen, yeah. And it's just like a magical time. I love like, you know, putting my magical intention to each gift as I wrap it up. Um, the only stressful part maybe is uh, when I have to actually hang out with my whole family and I have to be what I call on the whole time where I'm like overly jovial and happy even though they drive me crazy. <laughs> uh, and I uh, maybe have a few more glasses of champagne than I should, but mostly it's so that I can through the night. Number 54, have I ever eaten a pierogi? I have, not my fave thing, but yes, I have. Number 55, my favorite type of fruit pie. Ah, Mrs. Knott's boysenberry pie is the bomb. Um, right after that, I would think that it's my own um, apple pie that I make. It's actually the, what's considered Hello Kitty's mom's recipe. It's actually a pretty damn good recipe, you know, for Hello Kitty, but it's a good recipe and I tweaked it a little bit. Um, so I would say my apple pie is actually really good. I am trying to perfect my pumpkin pie. Um, I really like lemon meringue pie. That's actually my dad's favorite pie. So um, one day I'll try to make it better. I kind of destroyed the last one, but I'm, I'm working on it because one day I'll make my dad's lemon meringue pie. But yeah, I'd say the best is boysenberry pie followed by my own apple pie followed by um, lemon meringue and yeah, <laughs> um, pumpkin pie. Ooh, the apple pie from Julian. Oh, mom's apple pie is so good. And Mom's also makes a really good pumpkin pie. Like, 
it's really good. <laughs> Number 56, occupations I wanted to be when I was a kid. Well, if we're talking really little, I always wanted to be an astronaut, um, hence why I always love Star Trek and things like that. The dog that's barking outside, his name is Toto, and his mama's name is Dorothy, and Dorothy needs to keep Toto quiet. Um, but I wanted to be um, an archeologist um, because I grew up on a lot of Indiana Jones. Uh, so for a while I thought I would like dig up dinosaurs and then I'd go on adventures and I wanted to be an archeologist or I wanted to be an astronaut. Um, or I said that I was gonna grow up to be a supermodel or I wanted to be an actress or I wanted to be a singer like Mariah Carey. I had a lot of aspirations. Number 57, do I believe in ghosts? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I hear them, I see them, I feel them. <laughs> um, plus all other different types of energies on whatever dimensions they're coming in from. 58, do I ever have that deja vu feeling? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> Number 59, do I take a vitamin daily? Yes, I take my, uh, um, my, like women's one a day multivitamin. I take krill oil. I take wild Alaskan fish oil. Um, I take um, hair, skin, and nails, which is like a biotin thing. Well, it's got a bunch of other good stuff in it. Um, I take glucosamine. Um, and I think that's it. Yes. <laughs> Number 60, do I wear slippers? You mean these slippers? Yes. <laughs> Number 61, do I wear a bathrobe? Once in a while, if it's really cold, I'll wear my bathrobe. Um, I have a, my boyfriend got it for me, but it's a, it's a men's um, Tommy Hilfiger uh, bathrobe. And he didn't get it for the brand or, or anything, but he was looking for a like big, thick, warm robe. And you wouldn't believe how hard it is to find a robe that is just, substantial and not like a flimsy piece of fabric that looks like it was put together in a day. Number 62, what do I wear to bed? Um, sometimes just my skivvies if it's really warm outside. Um, otherwise it's a t-shirt and skivvies. Number 63, what was my first concert? <laughs> okay, so in 1999, uh, right after I had graduated high school, so this was the summer of 99, um, my mom had won tickets on Jam and Z90 for the, it was called uh, like the back to school bash or something like that. Um, and it was for, it, it, it happened at the Coors Amphitheater um, in Chula Vista here in San Diego. And um, it was two tickets. So my mom dropped my brother and I off and it was meant to be like, it's not like a super adult concert. I mean, there was like a lot of like young people there, like high school age and stuff like that. Um, and they had the, who was still unknown at the time, Britney Spears, uh, 98 Degrees, um, NSYNC, um, basically all the pop stars, uh, Christina Aguilera. Some of them hadn't quite blown up yet. Some of them like were like, rising stars at the time before they like really got huge and so that was really fun my brother was like in love with Britney Spears so he was super excited I was in love with 98 degrees um, there was a pre-show thing where some of the guys from 98 degrees got on the Jam and Z 90 bus stage um, and they were asking like people to come up on stage and dance with them and I was one of them. <laughs> I didn't get to dance with my favorite 98 Degrees guy, but um, that was so cool. I was like, oh my God, I'm dancing with 98 Degrees. <laughs> um, and actually what's funny is um, before I had even met my boyfriend or anything, you know, uh, cause we met at Long Beach State, um, he's from here in San Diego and he and his, um, like, um, I think he was lifeguarding at the time. So he and his lifeguard buddies had won tickets to that thing. And so he was like, where were you seated? You know, cause we talked about it. He's like, I went to that concert too. I was like, really? I was like, I was kind of like up near the nosebleed section. And he was like, oh my God, I was on the grass, like a few rows behind the no nosebleed section. And I was like, so we probably like passed each other <laughs> and we didn't even know it. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of cool. So I didn't meet him till um, probably a year and a half later um, at Long Beach. So that was kind of cool. Number 64, Walmart, Walmart, Walmart 
Target or Kmart? Well, most of the Kmarts are closed in my area, and if they're not closed, they're pretty cleared out and pretty ghetto. Uh, Walmart, I loathe going into Walmart. I just don't, I just don't like the energy of Walmart. Um, but you know, sometimes we gotta get things from there. I'd rather go to Target. <laughs> 65 at Nike or I did ass Adidas. Um, I like the look of Adidas, but uh, to be honest, neither brand is really good for my feet. In fact, um, because I overpronate and kind of how my 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 gait is when I walk and everything. Uh, Asics actually makes the best brand of shoe for me, and um, I've been wearing Asics since I ran track and field at Long Beach State. Um, so I'm an Asics girl. But I do like the look of Adidas, you know, just not, <laughs> they're just not both very good shoes. Um, and every time I think of Adidas, I think of that corn song, All Day I Dream About Sex. 66, Cheetos or Fritos? I am the Frito Bandito. <laughs> 67, Peanuts or Sunflower Seeds? Um, I guess I would take Peanuts. Sunflower Seeds are really good, they just... They just take too long to get out of the casing. <laughs> I guess I could say the same about peanuts, but um, I don't know. You ever been to those bars? Well, my grandmother used to take me to a bar when I was a kid. You probably shouldn't have had kids in there. But anyway, um, <laughs> they, the bar that she used to take me to, Schooners, up in the middle of nowhere in the high desert, uh, you used to be able to like crack open your peanuts and throw the shells on the floor. It was totally classy. Ever hear of the group Tres Bien? Probably. I think I have, actually. 69. Ever take dance lessons? Uh... Hmm. Hmm. I don't think so. I think I bought tapes on how to dance. Oh, wait! No, I did take some dance lessons. Um... Back when I was in college, you know, I, I didn't have much cash, actually barely any cash. <laughs> if you went, uh, I, I used to go to um, the Lindy Hop, um, which was like a swing dance club up in Los Angeles. I would drive from Long Beach to LA. And if you went in and paid the $5 to do the um, one hour dance lesson before the club opened, you got in free to the club. And all it was was mostly like 60 year old and 80 year old guys and women <laughs> you know dance into some like big band but I uh yeah I used to take swing dance lessons at the Lindy Hop and then um yeah and then I go to the club afterwards and do a little swing dancing number 70 is there a profession I picture my future spouse doing my future spouse hmm, who could that be my future spouse uh probably the dude <laughs> his future profession uh probably still doing what he's doing now. He owns his own business um, and he is a window tinter. Um, so he owns a window tinting company for residential and commercial, no automobiles. Number 71, can I curl my tongue? Nope, sorry, I lack that gene, both me and my father. My mother could though, she used to be able to do the little taco. I just twist my tongue. Number 72, have I ever won a spelling bee? Okay, so I'm an English teacher, but I used to be the worst speller in the world. Now I'm like a really good speller, but <laughs> have to be. Um, but yeah, I used to suck at spelling. And then one day, like in middle school, I had this like really like nice teacher, um, Mrs. Ince. <laughs> and she was all about like pushing me. Oh, you should try the spelling bee. I was out in the first round. I misspelled croissant. Number 73, have I ever cried because I was so happy? Um, I've cried because something was overly funny, you know, where you laugh so hard you can't catch your breath and like your abs are cramping and you're crying because you're laughing so hard, yes. Number 74, do I own any record albums? No, I used to have a Kid Rock album, but I think I donated, donated it and I've donated my other albums since because I don't have a record player. Um, my fave uncle, my uncle Joe, I know he's got tons of records. 75, that leads us into, do I have a record player? No. Number 76, do I regularly burn incense? Yes, and if you ask my dude who's in the can right now, he would say this place smells like weed. 77, have I ever been in love? <gasps> I am. <laughs> 
Number 78, who would I like to see in concert? Actually, uh, the San Diego County Fair this year has um, Bare Naked Ladies, so we we're thinking of going and seeing them. I was really stoked uh, last time when I got to see uh, Blue Oyster Cult. I thought that was a lot of fun. 79, what was the last concert I saw? Um, like actually like paying to go to a full on real concert that's not at the San Diego County Fair. Um, that was a perfect circle. Yes, I think I saw Tool before that, but yes, A Perfect Circle was in San Diego and um, I paid to bring one of my good friends uh, to come with me. So I guess if you say the, per or the um, Three Doors Down concert last couple summers ago, maybe, but that was also at the San Diego County Fair, um, one of their paid shows. So yes, we did go see that too. The hot tea or cold tea, hot tea all the time. 81, tea or coffee? Tea, because I will have an upset stomach on coffee, but coffee smells so good. 82, sugar cookies or snickerdoodles? Um, I do like snickerdoodles. Um, they're not my like super fave, but they are really good. They are my dude's fave cookie in the world. 83, can I swim well? I can swim decently. Like I used to surf. Um, which I guess doesn't make you a great swimmer, but <laughs> yeah, I used to surf. Um, I can swim well enough to save my life and to get out of a riptide. Um, my boyfriend, however, was on the swim team in high school and he comes from a family of swimmers, like his dad's a swim coach. Um, both, both of his brothers, even the crackhead one, um, they were swimmers. Uh, he used to be like the, like to do the like long distance medleys in swim. So he's, he's like a fish. He's a really good swimmer. 84, can I hold my breath without holding my nose? Who does that? <laughs> 85, am I patient? No. 86, a DJ or, at a or a band at a wedding? A band, there's nothing better than a live band. 87, have I ever won a contest? Um, I think I've, you know, won um, some here on YouTube and done like, so, like one stuff on social media, but, um, well, like I said, like my mom won Jam and Z90 tickets like to that back to school bash. So like I got to profit off of that. Like I got to go. <laughs> um, I, back when I watched like um, Fox, like I was a Fox kid and I was a KUSI kid, uh, which by the way, when I was like, seven or eight years old I got to be on TV with Shotgun Tom Kelly and all the KOSI kids and like we were on TV really briefly I thought that was fun <laughs> um so I got to I guess I got to win going on television that was fun um I won um those contests they used to have uh with Fox Kids Club and KOSI was the call-in where you would um you dial the number and and you, you'd call and then you just keep pressing like redial on the phone just like redial 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 until you hear the ring and you're like ah oh. um, and I won a dark wing duck it was so awesome number 88 have I ever had plastic surgery no I have not 89 which are better black or green olives <sighs> that's a toughie because I do like putting the black olives on my fingers and then eating them off my fingers like a really classy lady. Um, but I prefer um, garlic stuffed olives, which are green olives. Oh, they're so good. Number 90, can I knit or crochet? Um, I used to be able to know how to crochet and I probably could pick it back up again, but I haven't done it since I was like 10. <laughs> 91, best room for a fireplace? Probably where we have our fireplace now, which is in the dining room. 92, do I wanna get married? Yes, just in case anybody's listening. 93 is just a, if I've been married, how long have I been married? I am not married, but my guy and I will have been dating 12 years this November. Number 94, who was my high school crush? Okay, I'm probably pretty sure none of them watch this, but um, I don't know, I had a lot of crushes. <laughs> uh, I, I liked this guy named um, Alex Fernandez, um, and I thought he was really cute. He was a football player. Um, I used to like another guy named Alex Garcia. I just like really liked the name Alex. Um, Alex Garcia was like, I mean, um, 
people would say he's a weather. I mean, he was he was a white Mexican, um, so he was like fair. He had like dark blonde to brownish hair. Um, he had like blue eyes, um, and like I had a crush on him since like eighth grade eighth grade all the way through senior year I thought he was pretty cute and there was uh, James Majors who I ended up dating um, but then he dumped me for another guy um, but I had the hots for him because I loved the way he had the frosted tips in his hair and then there was another guy uh, Sigi Fredo um, Siggy Fredo was another weather. He was another white Mexican. Okay, I had a thing for white guys, but at my high school, there was no white guys. <laughs> I mean, there was probably two, um, and we had like, like, ninety percent Hispanic, like maybe five percent, maybe eight percent African American. Um, we had like maybe a uh, like one Filipino, some Vietnamese, and like two white guys. And that was like my high school. So I was always on the hunt for like the white Mexican because I love blonde hair and I love blue eyes. Hence why I'm dating somebody who looks kind of sort of like Val Kilmer. <laughs> Number 95, do I cry and throw a fit until I get my own way? What are you talking about? <laughs> no, that is so childish. Number 96, do I have kids? Yes, I have a fur baby. His name is Wally Wally Toe. <laughs> Number 97, do I want kids? Uh, more fur babies? I would love to have more fur babies. Uh, human children? No, uh, it's just not. I mean, my family's got probably more than enough kids to populate a small country. Um, and just, I kind of had to like raised my brother so like it's like I kind of already have done that you know I was made to raise my brother so it's like oh, yeah I've done that I'm good um but you know obviously I like kids that's why I teach um I like younger kids too I like I like mostly getting along with like high school kids um but kids in my future like no number 98 what is my favorite color um turquoise like a really pretty blue turquoise color um, or the icy blue of hemimorphite like that color um, or a very beautiful candy apple red so either those blues or candy apple red are my favorite number 99 oh almost there do I miss anyone right now I do um, I've gone to a lot a lot of, a lot a lot of funerals um, so there are um, quite a few people I miss, you know, like I miss both my my grandmothers and this grandfather. I never knew my other grandfather, um, but you know, I have uh, friends of mine that have passed away rather young, you know, one at 14, one at 23. Um, I have, you know, aunts and uncles and cousins that have passed away. I have other like friends and and older people that I know, um, people that were like a grandmother to me. Uh, there's been a lot of people that I miss and I wish I could just have maybe one more day with them. Number 100, oh my gosh. Who do I tag in this video? Everyone and everyone. Everyone and everyone. Anyone and everyone. All the peeps. <laughs> okay, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, so again, this was a VR to Willowin the Thrifty Witch. Uh, that was, yeah, that was fun. And I'm going to continue watching other people's VRs to this. So you guys jump in on this. This was the hashtag 100 questions nobody asks. So anyway, um, hopefully you guys jump in on this. If you dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell for more videos just like this. On this weekend, June 9th and 10th, because the 10th is my birthday, I'm doing, uh, in honor of my birthday, uh, the pay what you can reading. So um, from the beginning, when the 9th starts to all the way till the 10th starts, no matter where you are in the world, um, go to paypal.me slash kittensweightstarot and I am doing a just whatever you can afford, 
pay and I'll like send you a video reading or I will like like send you a link for a video reading or I'll take a picture of your card or cards and like email you know your reading to you I'll do like combinations of all that stuff um so yeah, just uh, go to paypal.me slash kittensweightstarot, pay whatever you can afford from a dollar to, I don't know if you wanna spend like a hundred dollars, like whatever. Um, and then in the notes section, just put what your question is and your email address so that I can email you your reading. And so I'm looking forward to that. So June 9th and 10th, um, I have a meetup happening in July. Uh, July 21st and 22nd is the Five Elements Meetup here in San Diego. Uh, we're gonna be doing some healing. We're gonna be um, working with the elements. We're going to be um, visiting some very awesome sacred sites here in San Diego. We're gonna be eating really good food and making new friends. Uh, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, check out www.kittensweightsintero.com Com, click on events and check out that itinerary if you are interested absolutely free but you know donations are always welcome um and production begins like this week <laughs> uh working i'm starting to work on that oracle deck um that i've been like talking about forever so i'm finally now I'm going to be able to have time to start working on it. And I was so excited. So my very first Oracle deck. So anyway, uh, that's it for me, spiritual homies. I will catch you later. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.